welcome back to my YouTube channel, beautiful people. If you're new here, I am so blessed to have you here. I'm part of Trainer Tanner's Tribe where we are all here chasing freedom in some sort, in some way. We all have obstacles, we all have issues in our lives, but we all want to live happier, healthier, more free lives, and I want to help you to chase that freedom, whatever it is for you. So welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm just gonna share a little bit about what I have going on and some of the challenges and things that I am setting for myself throughout the year of 2018 and how that's being laid out. I asked on my Instagram if people wanted a video where I shared the challenges and the goals that I have set for myself. So what I've done so far for 2018 is every month I'm setting one really simple and may seem really small to you goal, but it's actually pretty big to me it's very much a commitment and I'm taking it month by month so instead of setting a goal to like for example um, do yoga three times a week for all 52 weeks of 2018 that's not really realistic for me and I want to stick to one month at a time and keep things a little bit more short term and just know that I'm able to commit 30 or 31 days to something that will help me reach more freedom, help me find a little bit more ease in my life, feel really good about myself, know that I can commit to things and stick to them. And it's just another thing to work towards. I think it's really important that we're all working towards something, right? And that we don't get too stagnant in our life. We don't get um, we don't let ourselves hang out on plateaus too long and we just keep climbing. We keep taking steps forward, whether that is to be a healthier person and make better, more healthy choices in your life or to grow in your career or to be a better friend or to be a better parent, whatever that is, we all want to do all the things we're involved in a little bit better all the time. So that's why I'm kind of splitting it up into each month. And honestly, I don't have all 12 months planned out I had January planned out and my goal was to run one mile all 31 days of January. So on December 31st, I ran a mile randomly and it felt really, really good and I was like, oh man, I miss that feeling. I wonder if I can run a mile every day on during January. I would love to see if I can stick to that and love to see what that does for my life. It's so simple. It only takes eight to 10 minutes depending on the day and I wanna do this for myself and just commit to something like this. So that's exactly what I did. I committed to running one mile every day of January. I am on day 24. I have stuck to every day and gotten that mile run in so far every day and plan to finish out this month strong. And I can already tell you guys, like having this small commitment has kept me dis more disciplined in other areas of my life. So when I set a commitment like this for myself, I hold myself accountable because I know this is doable. I know there's no reason that I shouldn't be able to run a mile every day and take eight to 10 minutes to go run a quick mile. I know that running is really good for me. It's good for my heart. I had kind of gotten away from cardio for a while just because I was more into lifting and my life got really hectic with my business and everything and I knew this would be a really good me time to just get away and be with myself for 10 minutes and go run and let some endorphins flow. Like there were so many reasons why just running one mile a day for this month would be so good for my soul. And so that's why I chose to do this one. In February, I don't know exactly what my challenge is gonna be for myself yet. So I'm thinking either committing to three days of yoga for all four weeks of February because I haven't done yoga in a really long time. There's so many benefits of yoga. I aspire to be a yogi one day. Like I think that would be amazing and I think it would help me with my meditation in my life. I want to be able to meditate. I want to be able to sit and be still in prayer and be able to have that like really peaceful time. Like that's something I really desire. So that may be my goal. I'm thinking of a couple different things to commit to. Um, I am thinking about not taking a sip of alcohol all February. I haven't in January yet. So I feel, and it makes me feel really good not to drink. Like I don't mind like enjoying drink. I love a glass of wine. I love a good cold margarita. I love all that stuff, but I don't need it. And I know it doesn't like, fill me up deep with, deep inside of me. So that may be something that I commit to in February. Something else I'm thinking about committing to in February is keeping the cardio going, keeping the regimen going and doing like a 10 minute hit session on the Stairmaster during February every day. But the only thing is, 
with that I would have to be at the gym to do that so that's not as realistic because I don't want to be at the gym seven days a week I already go six days a week and that is plenty for me and it makes me feel really good and healthy so I just kind of talked myself out of that one um, another thing is to only eat real foods in February and kind of get away you know when life gets crazy and stuff a lot of times I'm going to quest bars and other like processed things like that and I feel like that's becoming quite the norm for me like at least like four or five days of the week I have a quest bar and replace of a, just like a whole food snack or something so maybe sticking to only whole foods in February instead of like anything processed like that I know that would really feed my body and feed my soul and I could commit to that so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to commit to stay tuned to see what that is but the main reason I wanted to make this video is because you can do something like this for yourself too you can commit to one small thing that is going to help you reach your goals whatever whatever that may be and it doesn't have to be something very drastic like you don't have to stick to your macros perfectly all every single day of February but I just want you to set a realistic goal for yourself to really hit one thing to do every day. One thing if you're not doing that I would recommend is like five minute morning routine every single morning in February. Do it. Make yourself do it. You know your soul needs some sort of morning routine, some sort of structure, some sort of time to evaluate the day and set some intentionality for the day and for yourself that would be a really good thing to commit to you could do what I did last month and commit to running one mile every single day just to be more of an athlete and feel better and get endorphins going so I don't know what it is for you but I'm gonna figure out what February is for me and we can do that together and when you decide that I want you to comment down below what's your February every single day challenge is gonna be and I'll be sure to let you all know what I decide on mine either on my YouTube or on my Instagram but whatever you decide let's start a like hashtag or something like that and let's just start using the hashtag chasing freedom and hold each other accountable on Instagram or on Facebook or anything and just after you've done that that every day add that to your Instagram story hold yourself accountable and know that every day you run that mile or every day you do that five minute morning routine hashtag something and say morning routine done check hashtag chasing freedom or something like that so we can create this community of people that are doing something every day to make their self better I think that would be a really cool movement I think we should all be making ourselves better and it, we just have to start with the smallest habits that can make the biggest changes in our life and I want you to see that and I want you to experience that with me so Let's set some goals. Comment below what you decide what your February challenge is going to be for yourself. I'm excited to hear from you guys. I'm excited to have you all involved on this. We're going to keep doing this throughout the whole year of 2018, committing to something for every day of each month, switching it up and having a really good time with it, just becoming better people in this world. And that's what it needs. So. I love you guys so much. The day this video goes live, which is Saturday, I'm actually in LA right now with the Influencer Academy, probably having the time of my life, probably lighting a huge fire under my butt to even motivate me to do more in this life and more in this world. And I'm sure my heart is so full right now. So that's where I'm at right now. I will be uploading an LA video next week. I upload videos every Wednesday and every Saturday. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up so more people can join this Chasing Freedom movement. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for your support, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.